It is no surprise for film German international fashion model Sandra Seifer to witness the marvels of the world. She's also a linguist in the making. The 26-year-old former Miss Philippines Earth title holder can speak five different languages fluently. German, French, English, Ilongo, and Filipino. A while ago, Angel had a little chit-chat with Sia Kim, but this time around, I get up close and personal with Sandra Seifer. Hi. Hi What's beautiful about you knowing all these languages? Because you can use this in educating the youth about all your advocacies. Um, since I was crowned Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth Air, I was um, fortunate enough to work with the Miss Earth Foundation. Okay. Basically, what we do is throughout the year of our reign, we go on to different school tours okay. where um, my fellow queens and I, we teach the kids one-on-one -on -one and then as a class also how to be more eco-friendly, mm -hmm. what they can do. We also plant a lot of trees either during school tours or separately, you know, with um, different um, organizations or companies like Men in the Water, for example. Okay. We've also done one type of school tour for high school students, okay. which is um, entitled West on the Shun. So for this past year, we um, tried to encourage the, the youth to be more aware about um, lifestyle diseases and to okay. live more healthy, you know. So yeah. Yeah, we came up with a short film entitled okay. Project Noel. It's a drama film, but it underlines like waste management and, you know, how someone else's trash is um, another person's treasure. Okay. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Like, You'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll you'll really get a message there. I know the advocacy would be. We also recently collaborated with um, the Comelec and um, the Zero Waste um, Election Campaign. Okay. You know, to to remind everyone who's not just um, voting, but more importantly, those running for our campaign and campaigning yeah. to to be more responsible with their campaigns. Yeah. Right? <laughs> sometimes after it's done, they just leave it all behind, and no one claims it up. And of course, these contribute to, you know, more more garbage, clutter, and, um, clutter, gutters. And okay, now aside from all these uh, public outreach programs, how do you personally practice going green? Well, yeah, if there's an option to buy organic products, it's also very healthy for the skin and the hair, like your products. And then, of course, if, um, you know, I have a chance to also lean towards mineral makeup. Um, very, very good for the skin and environmentally friendly. Okay, and then of course. I try to avoid hair spray as much as I can. <laughs> yes! I'm also vegetarian. By eating less of the meat, you know, and eating healthier and organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my own little way, I also contribute. Alright, well, Sandra, as involved as you are, maybe you can tell our girlfriends out there how they too can be involved. Yes, well, um, as I mentioned earlier, there are ways to go green. You know, simple ways, like in your household, for example, segregate that trash. That's one way, because we can't run away from our trash, you know, it's something that we all um, produce. And um, yeah, for all you ladies out there, um, go organic. And uh, thank you so much. I mean, with all the advocacy that you're involved with, we know that you are very busy. Yeah. On top of that, you are a beauty queen. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Sandra. Thanks for having me. Wherever you are in the world, whatever your profession may be, keep in mind that there is always something you can do in slowing down the irreversible effects of our actions.